501453 RAC and 501453 dedicated cable gland. General description of gland. The 501453 RAC comprises six major components, these being the back nut, middle nut, reversible armor clamping ring or RAC, armor spigot, inner seal and the entry component complete with captive deluge boot if required. This cable gland accommodates all types of elastomer and plastic insulated cable, incorporating all types of armor or braid, the most common being single wire armor, W, and wire braid, X. The 501453 dedicated armor cable gland is fitted with individual rings to suit each of the types of armor or braid available. Assembly instructions are supplied with each cable gland. Please refer to these for further instructions on cable preparation and installation. Cable preparation. Allow sufficient length of cable to enable termination of the conductors into the junction box. Strip back and remove the required amount of outer sheath and armor or braid to enable connection of the conductors into the junction box. Remove a further 20 millimeters of outer sheath on cable glands from sizes OS to C and 25 millimeters on cable gland sizes from C2 to F. Cable gland installation. Fit the ingress protection or IP washer if required onto the entry thread and fit the entry component into the junction box hand tight using the enclosure thread or lock nut. Using a spanner or wrench Tighten until resistance is felt, a quarter to a half turn nominal. Pass the back nut, middle nut and armor clamping ring over the cable for the 501453 RAC, making sure that the ring is in the correct orientation for the type of armor or braid being used. For the 501453 dedicated armor cable gland, the armor ring must be placed over the cable with the thickest part of the ring towards the back of the cable gland. Spread the armor or braid by gently pulling it away from the inner sheath of the cable and place the armor spigot over the cable. A screwdriver may be required for this exercise for larger cable sizes. Remove the seal from the entry component and push the cable through into the enclosure until the ends of the armor or braid are against the shoulder of the armor spigot. Bring up the clamping ring and position over the armor or braid. Then, bring up the middle nut and hand tighten onto the entry portion. Finalize by tightening the middle nut a further half to three quarters of a turn to make off the armor clamping assembly. Unscrew the middle nut from the entry portion and withdraw it from the junction box. Visually inspect that the armor or braid has been effectively clamped between the armor spigot and the armor clamping ring. Insert the inner seal back into the entry component and reinsert the cable into the junction box. Reassemble the middle nut onto the entry component. Tighten the middle nut using a spanner or wrench until resistance is felt between the seal and the cable. Then turn the middle nut through a further half turn nominal to complete the tightening of the inner seal. Position the back nut and hand tighten until it forms a seal around the outer cable sheath. Using one spanner or wrench, hold the middle nut in position whilst finalizing the tightening of the back nut by a further complete turn with another spanner or wrench. Complete the installation by pulling the deluge seal down onto the middle nut if applicable. The 501453 RAC or 501453 dedicated cable gland has now been correctly installed. Please note cable acceptance sizes are marked on the clamping ring and back nut for armor clamping range and outer sealing range respectively.